something deeper is happening beneath the New Madrid fall and the military knows it. The National Guard quietly mentioned in an article only that they're going there because liquefaction triggering is what they're worried about in New Madrid fall. But what if that's already slowly begun? This drone video taken of the site there, according to an email sent to neighborhood residents, the sinkhole around 30 feet deep. And if we go up a little bit higher to St. Louis, Missouri in New Madrid fall, entire lakes slowly being sucked away. Sinkhole is draining the lake at Lone Elk Park in St. Louis County, park officials say. So we need to investigate this deeper to find out what's really going on here because the Department of Energy just did a supercomputer simulation of the New Madrid area. And what they said was the East earthquakes are much worse than the West because the East is more resistant to deformation, which helps the seismic energy travel much farther in these scenarios. So a new map from nature.com of land subsidence, which is land sinking. We can see this right next to the new Madrid fault zone. So the ground is sinking where new Madrid is. So what is evidence of what's happening right now? Let's go to Missouri An eyewitness account who shows a opening like we have not seen before. In the New Madrid Seismic Zone, Missouri, Laurie recorded a giant sinkhole that she quoted, it just keeps getting bigger. From rough estimates, it looks like it could be over 20 feet deep. Take a closer look at when she looks down. So why is this happening around the Missouri area? Well, it could be because if you look right here on the map, the hot rock, the magma area is right underneath this zone. And this is causing more heat stress as well as land sinking And the military worried about liquefaction. Now, this is what you would be dealing with in a liquefaction type of situation. You see this cars going down. Also, you would look at houses starting to go in and collapse and sink move towards the left. If you're noticing any of these things, you need to take it seriously. So everybody around these areas specifically need to make plans and think about what they're going to do. That with the land sinking is going to be a major problem for infrastructure all around those areas and all those zones. And subscribe right now because we're constantly looking at all this investigation so that you can know right away what's going on. But the situation gets deeper because lately, Missouri park officials have been telling people to go and gather all the fish because they remove restrictions due to the sinkholes in the water in Missouri, literally just going under the ground. The Missouri Department of Conservation just lifted almost all fishing restrictions on the Benton Park Lake. Anglers are now allowed to take as many fish from the lake as they want. Now, the department is also lifting restrictions on how you can catch those fish. That includes snagging, netting, and grabbing them by hand. Still need a valid Missouri fishing permit. Officials say sinkholes are draining the water from the lake, making it impossible for fish to thrive. But then when we dive a little deeper, we found out that University of Arkansas College Engineering are doing blast induced liquefaction inside of the New Madrid fault zone. So this is a controlled blasting program in Terrell, Arkansas's testing site. And they got videos of it too. We're gonna show you how they charge up the explosives and they say they get this data to test liquefaction. We're talking kaboom, let's watch. What do you think about that? So it's not just hot magma sinkhole zones, fish disappearing from water going down into sinkholes. There's another scenario that's called transpressive stress that has been found this year in the New Madrid fault. 
And what's happening with this transpressive stress is we we got the fault going this way underground and one going that way. And then we got one of them going upward over the fault as well. And if you look on screen right here, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So there's two types of scenarios that's happening. So the fault is reversing and strike slipping. And you can see these areas right here exactly where it's happening between Tennessee, Missouri and Arkansas and Kentucky underground in the New Madrid area, which highlights how things are actually shifting below the ground and where this magma and heat is going tells us how the scenario ends up being. And remember, when all this happens, if it's next to fault zones, flooding levels increase because of the land subsidence, the sinking. So what do you need to watch out for in this scenario? Transpressive stress can cause uplift changes of the river flow by real foot lake along with subsidence land sinking that's already happening in real foot where the actual magma area is at that's why this is so important to take note of because the heated area here may be shifting as well if this transpressive stress is starting to show up and build up so why would the military use airlift operations in a new madrid seismic zone this year and the reason for that is they use the C-130J Hercules for a future mission in New Madrid. And the reason they did that is because you have land subsidence sinking. You also have the scenario where the water starts to elevate and they have to get people out of there as quick as possible. And something is happening right now with water rising in the Illinois town that is going to affect a lot of situations in life. According to officials in Monroe County, the Stringtown levee in southern Illinois is approaching failure, all because of a nearby scour hole. Beautiful farmland stretch along the borders of Monroe and Randolph counties, but there's a tear in the serene canvas, a scour hole slowly inching its way towards the Stringtown levee. It would be disastrous. What exactly is a scour hole? Kevin Scheibe, the Monroe County Public Safety Director for Emergency Management and 911, explains. That is an under undercurrent that is coming from the river, going under the ground, and it is cutting away the clay um, of the Mississippi, the riverside of the, the levee. Shivey says over time, the scour hole will work its way to the levee, damaging its integrity to the point of collapse the next time the Mississippi River rises. And when that happens, property, livestock, revenue, historical sites, and close to 500 people's lives will be at stake. Our goal is to get this fixed right away and prevent a disaster and prevent loss of life as well as property loss. And land subsidence doesn't directly cause this, but it can worsen them by changing the topography and hydrology of the soil. And get this, the New Madrid fault line travels through Southern Illinois. So Stringtown, Illinois is an area where we're gonna look at deeply because if fallout from this spreads and it doesn't get handled, which hopefully it does. But by the way it's sounding, FEMA, Corps of Engineers, they've all said, hey, this isn't our job because we don't have the authorization to be proactive and to fix this situation, to fix the scour hole. But don't worry, when the levee blows, we'll be there for you. We were told that it would be 18 to 24 months once a grant is approved. We don't have 18 to 24 months. The next river that comes up could take this levee out. We're talking about a three to $5 million fix or maybe $150 million worth of damage. So I'm not a math major, but that makes no sense to me. Representative Freeze, along with Illinois State Senator Terry Bryant, sent a joint letter to Governor J.B. Pritzker on this matter. And Representative Freeze says he spoke to him personally regarding the scour hole. But still, he encourages residents of Monroe and Randolph counties to reach out to the governor's office for emergency funding to resolve this problem. OK, so this is a problem because if the levees collapse, it's not just a situation in that town. That's the first line situation. But I know now we need to map out zones so that you can be prepared in all locations, even the surrounding areas. This would be fallout that we definitely don't need. But subscribe so that we can get you all this information because it's not just going to be Illinois facing that because this would definitely cause other situations to exacerbate. What we're seeing with the New Madrid fault areas 
is not just transpressive stress. This zone has a history of turning regions upside down from rivers turning backwards to cities sinking in liquefied soil. The danger is real. That's why the DOE and the military is preparing in advance. But the fact that they're waiting for the levees to collapse is pretty concerning of the state of affairs that we entered. If you live anywhere near this New Madrid zone, stay here. You'll stay aware. And I'll be looking at all the different updates coming out. This matches early warnings in the past. And if we can study the past, we can know the future and not repeat the mistakes of the past. And for survivability, do not miss this video because the huge ground cracks tells another story transpiring in other parts of the United States. Go watch that now. Don't let it be hidden.